Hi, Cruise Addicts. John Schall here, and this is your Cruise News starting right now. Carnival Cruise Line has announced that it has an agreement with the City of New Orleans and the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, to provide Carnival Glory for housing for first responders through September 18th. Carnival will cancel Glory's cruise scheduled to depart on September 12th and will plan to restart its guest operations with Carnival Glory from New Orleans on Sunday, September 19th. Carnival has already canceled the September 5th departure for Carnival Glory. The Scarlet Lady has set sail from Portsmouth, England after spending the summer in the UK. The 2800 passenger Virgin Voyages ship is now heading across the Atlantic to New York. Scarlet Lady will begin sailing four and five night cruises from Miami on October 6th. It would be great to have her in the US. The Pacific Adventure has emerged from a dry dock in Trist, Italy with new Pino Cruises Australia identity. The latest addition to Pino Cruises Australia now boasts a Southern Cross bow livery and many new onboard features including dining experiences. The Adventure Hotel and the Blue Room have also been introduced to the former Golden Princess ship among other features. Before we continue, if you like our videos, please press that subscribe button with notifications on. This will ensure you don't miss any future cruise news updates or other content from me, Cruise Addicts. Thank you so much. Crystal Cruises announced that the 62 passenger Crystal Esprit will leave the Crystal Cruises fleet. The cruise line is choosing to go in a new direction post-pandemic. Crystal is notifying all affected guests and their travel partners of this information. Pincantieri has started construction of the new Sphere class ship for Princess Cruises. At 175,000 gross tons, the Sphere vessels will be the largest ships built so far in Italy. They will each accommodate approximately 43 guests and will be based on a next generation platform design, being the first Princess Cruises ships to be dual fuel powered primarily by LNG. So much exciting cruise news happening. Be sure to let me know what you think by leaving your comments and questions below. Also, if you like this video, please give a like for us. It really makes a big difference. Lastly, thank you all for joining me today. And please be safe and happy cruising. See you next time.